Edexcel, A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2019, Question 4. The curve C1 with parametric equations x equals 10 cos t, y equals 4 root 2 sine t, meets the circle C2 with equation x squared plus y squared equals 66 at four distinct points as shown in figure 2. Given that one of these points S lies in the fourth quadrant, find the Cartesian coordinates of S. So by sticking our parametric equations into the equation for the circle, we get that 10 cos t all squared plus 4 root 2 sine t all squared equals 66. Squaring the brackets gives us 100 cos squared t plus 32 sine squared t equals 66. Now we need to try and solve this to find t, which is a bit tricky when we've got both cos squared and sine squared in there. But remembering our identities, we know that cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. So there's a few ways to simplify this, but one way is to take 32 of the cos squareds, separate them from the other 68. So we've just rearranged that left hand side to get 68 cos squared t plus 32 lots of cos squared t plus sine squared t equals 66. As we said before, cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. So we get 68 cos squared t plus 32 equals 66. Rearranging, we get 68 cos squared t equals 34. So cos squared t equals a half. And cos t equals plus or minus 1 over root 2. We now need to find x because we want the Cartesian coordinates. Well, we know x in terms of cos from our parametric equations, x equals 10 cos t. We also know from the diagram that x must be positive. It's in the fourth quadrant. So we're going to take the positive answer, 1 over root 2. So x equals 10 cos t, which equals 10 over root 2, which is equal to 5 root 2. Now to find y, as we've already worked out x, it makes sense that we now use our Cartesian equation, x squared plus y squared equals 66. Rearranging that would give us y equals plus or minus the square root of 66 minus x squared. Substituting 5 root 2 into that, we get plus or minus the square root of 66 minus 50, which is plus or minus root 16, which is plus or minus 4. Again, looking back at our diagram, s is in the fourth quadrant, so y must be negative. So we're going to have to take our negative 4. So our answer is 5 root 2, negative 4. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.